a large all-electric SUV. This is the interpretation by BMW, the all-new BMW iX. For example, to fight against the tester model X. <laughs> and you can see here, this has really interesting dimensions, more, you know, close to BMW X5 or something, but of course all electric. And let's start here directly in the front where we have two very interesting features. First of all, as for the design, this huge kind of mono kidney, I would say. You see, yeah, it's a mono kidney, like a mono brow. <laughs> but here you can see this is one kidney and the other one, but here they are actually you know, combined in the middle. And this material here on the top part has a very interesting effect because I could literally take a screwdriver and do like this like, and could damage it. And at room temperature, or you need to heat it a little bit when it's cold, it repairs itself from, from scratches. I hope at a later stage we can also take a live sample of that for you. But I've seen it, it's, it's working very well. And it's like, how does it work? It's very interesting, kind of like a memory material. And also the wiper fluid here, look at that. Blue accentuation around the BMW logo. And here you can fill in the wiper fluid then under the logo. So yeah, very interesting. This is also a new BMW philosophy where they want to hide basically very practical features and make them still accessible at, you know, at some point. The headlamps here, slim integration, LED standard, optional. You can also get laser lamps for that and very aggressive styling here with the black contrast here in the lower right part. When we take a look at the side profile, you can see it has some kind of, you know, roofline that goes a little bit flatter towards the rear. The door handles are guided by the security guys here at the moment. <laughs> so yeah, on the Motor Show here, IAA Motor Show in Munich, not always easy to keep a clear look to the vehicle but we try to make it as good as possible here for the impressions here the big wheels you can see here in a two-tone scheme these here are the 22 inch wheels different sizes available once again the blue accentuations for the i models the length four meters 95 or 195 inches 20 21 or 22 inch are available actually as for the wheel sizes then these mirror caps here in the vehicle color in this case black frames around the window and you can see here the door handles you can go in there so also streamlined but then you grab in so they are presenting different new you know ways of opening the car for example the BMW i4 opens like you touch it and you pull it upwards you can also check out this video on auto fuel and towards the rear we have this ix badge this kind of separates the roof from the you know top roof from the lower body strong shoulder accentuations and when the trunk cover here is closed <laughs> we can also take a look at the rear so the bmw ix has the length of a bmw x5 is as flat as a bmw x6 and has the big wheels just as the bmw x7 so taking different dimensions from the bmw suvs and in the rear really extremely slim tail lamps right here once again, blue accentuations then all the way over the place with the BMW i logo and also with the blue logo around the BMW badge. And in the lower part, we know also this diffuser styling. We also saw it with the BMW i4, for example. But overall, a very clean design in the, in the rear. And it really looks different from the other BMW um, SUV models. What's your take on that? And we can also take a look here at the trunk. This is not too large, actually. You can see, uh, interesting that we have here some carbon fiber, it seems. Or it's uh, more like CFRP. Here underneath, yeah, you can also fold the seats here, here underneath, some more space. But actually, uh, kind of shallow, this whole trunk. You can take this top part here out, and then you can also fold the seats directly from here in an electric way. But I would have expected a little bit more trunk capacity, 500 up to 1,750 liters it is. As for the battery sizes, 71 kilowatt hours net or 105 kilowatt hours net. And that will either give you some 400 kilometers or 250 miles of range or in the bigger battery, some 600 kilometers or 370 miles of range. Of course, in our driving part to coming up very soon, we will test if this is really true. As for suspension, you start with a base adaptive suspension and optionally you can get a full air suspension for this vehicle. Door handles, when I press in the front part, not sure if it's because of the prototype stage, but I really have to press here that it opens. Not sure why, we'll keep you updated on that. 
Door closing sound, yeah, extremely cheap, but it's also frameless doors here, but we also check if this one is improving over time. Then interior, this looks really fancy, soft touch materials, integration of the emit lighting is right here. And then kind of like a crystalline structure here of the seat control. And there are still buttons you can really move. And wow, this looks super fancy also here for the memory seating. And black fabric then here next to the Bowers and Wilkins optional sound system. And there you can also once again see here the carbon fiber core here of that model. Very interesting. As for the seating materials, by the way, talking about materials, you will have a mix of fabric and microfiber and some wool chair, and then Sensatec in beige, brown or black. This should be the beige Sensatec seat because the animal skin seat is in black and red and it has rather a symmetric shape and this asymmetric shape rather belongs to the Sensatec seat. That's, you know, as my information goes. And this has here a perforated structure and it also feels kind of soft. Overall, the new interior here is yeah, really reminding us rather like a concept vehicle and this is actually a production vehicle. 12.3 inch screen on the left, 14.9 inch screen on the right and the seats here feel very soft, a very spacious interior and you really feel that this one is thought out to be an all electric vehicle and was planned also on an EV platform and that's also what makes more sense with the EVs. Steering wheel here with the electric control and a completely new steering wheel we have not seen with BMW yet in this kind of octagon shape. It's cruise control ever here still with manual buttons or real buttons to touch at least a mix this is capacitive but here i can still set something but really cool shape definitely here right side then with a volume jog here for the music that's also good soon more to the infotainment here also soft touch materials and this kind of like yard bow all the way across the front interior i really like this clean setup and this one has, one has an open space atmosphere in the front you can for example also put a big handbag here in, in the front like this here this open space area really cool and then you yeah have like a tablet here two usb-c chargers and more space like inductive charging uh, pad for your phone cup holders and so on and even fancier here this is like a mad wood service underneath the crystalline MMI knob, I like to call it that way because Audi calls it that way. <laughs> yeah, but this one also interesting turning sound. It really has an interesting haptic feedback. So, and then you can see this is also a new trend. So, these buttons here are integrated. So, they are also somewhat capacitive, give you feedback. You also hear that. And when you integrate this with high gloss piano lacquer, it looks cheap. But when you integrate it with wood surface here, then it actually makes sense and looks fancy, doesn't it? So this middle console is super interesting. This, by the way, the shifting lever here, when you put it forward or backward, this is where you put in reverse gear, drive gear or B for more recuperation and so on. And here is another manual volume jog. And then we have the typical split opening for some more space. And in this, like, a lot of space, I can... I <laughs> almost hide my whole big microphone in here. By the way, better sound for you here from the Motor Show. This is actually quite noisy around here, but with that one, you only hear my voice. Infotainment system OS8, so BMW OS8 premiere here in the BMW iX. Nice visualization of the vehicle, by the way. It will be available as the X-Drive 40 with 6.1 seconds excavation figure or then 4.6 seconds in the excavation as the X-Drive 50 with more horsepower. And here you can see this is a you know, normal GPS by BMW we know and you know actually like. This is here the fairground here, Munich. But then again, when you take a look at the, um, you know, oh, this by the way, the gesture control for the volume. Yeah. But then we have this new main menu and this is kind of like, I think a little bit overloaded, I think, and also not too good of a contrast. So I do prefer the older software generation of BMW, I have to admit. What about you? I would like to know from you guys. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay are both available. Here, of course, in this case, no smartphone is connected yet with this vehicle. And once again, back to the main menu. Here you can have also hotkeys and the climate is integrated here. Hmm. Yeah, here, two zone climate AC. It stays at the same place and is actually relatively easy accessible, but still 
I think it's not a good trend that we get rid of these buttons then and move it all the way to the screen. Instruments, usually you cannot adjust them that much with the BMW vehicles. It will show the speed, of course, and has a nice, you know, appearance as for just the first visual impression. And when we drive this vehicle very soon, stay subscribed. We show you all about that. To get out of the vehicle, by the way, I press this button here and the steering wheel also moves up again. So this, I mean, it's a nice integration. It also is kind of like a natural movement right here. I wonder where they put the manual release, especially for our friends in the US. And now I'm really excited to get to the rear because this is a dedicated EV platform and you know BMW has started with the i project with the going separate EV platform then they went back for the iX3 or the i4 using like you know zombie platforms or just putting the EVs on the existing platforms and with this one however they do a separate platform and again yeah not sure which direction they are going but this one is a good direction because we have plenty of legroom right here then we have no middle tunnel whatsoever this is a very good open space here in the rear and once again the soft touch materials everywhere we see and look and it's a very you know roomish atmosphere in the rear once again one means a six or six with one plenty of headroom left and also again with the perforated sensor tech materials make a good quality impression the cup holders are right here and we do you know we do fold the seats then from the trunk so there's no possibility from here there's an extensive climate unit also for the rear well seat heating is probably not the best idea at the hot motor show right here and what we can also see here from the rear when cornelius moves a little bit more down yes get on your knees <laughs> and then films up we can see here this top roof this has a electrochromatic function so at the moment we have this kind of shade but we can also not sure if it's working right now because um, it might not be powered at the moment. No, probably not. But when we drive the vehicle, we can show you that you can, you maybe know it from Mercedes SL. It can be like, let you look through, or that's look, looking like this, so you don't need a separate shade. The glass itself is being induced electronic, uh, you know, electrically, and then you have this change of the visibility or non visibility. Magic, yo! Recharging 11 kilowatt AC or DC charging then 195 kilowatt so it also ensures a good fast charging opportunity. And here cutaway model with the battery pack as I said either 71 kilowatt hours or optional 105 kilowatt hours net. About 20,000 euros is the extra price. It starts about 80,000 euros or dollars and then 20,000 more if you go for the bigger model with some more stand equipment and especially with the bigger battery pack here by the way the red interior this one is the animal interior so where you can see the rather more symmetric shape in this quilting style so this confirms that the other one the beige interior was the sensor tech interior so really hard to differentiate nowadays you really have to know like the structure from the configurator from the build side to really differentiate it gladly that we can rely on new good materials and here once again low center of gravity it's a big suv but it's supposed to drive really really sporty we will find out for you of course and this also has a different exterior color well it's cut open at the moment here but you can still already see you know how this rather red exterior color will look like in the sporty trim 22 inch wheels then also in this case can i scratch it like totally destroy it no not at the moment okay damn it i really wanted to destroy it now to show you the effect that it repairs itself yeah, I hope at a later stage we get the possibility to do so. Again, follow us soon for the driving part and compare the BMW i4, definitely, their electric sedan. Maybe also X5 plug-in hybrid or a Tesla Model X. We all have these interesting videos. We see you there.